Yeah. Hey everybody, it's me, supportive mom, and I am back. Let me talk to y'all a little bit while we waiting on this meat. We're gonna get a meat about five more minutes or so. But while we waiting on that, I wanna talk to y'all about my next video. Uh, my kids have told me that my channel is not what I intended for it to be. But I'm getting ready to go back to the way I really want my page to be. So what I need for you all to do is when you see this video, and I should have the poll of the questions up before this video, I need for you all to send me in some questions. And nothing is off limits that you all want. We're gonna start off talking about dating because it's getting ready to be summertime. Y'all get ready to have y'all hot girl summers. So Sweet Pea wanna try to help y'all out. So you won't be out here giving your number to every Tom, Dick, and Harry that asks you for it and going on a date with every Tom, Dick, and Harry that asks you on a date. Are they worthy of your number? Or how do you know when you should go on a date with somebody? You shouldn't be going on a date with everybody that asks you out. Because remember, just like you have intentions and a purpose, they do also. So y'all comment down below. Click, 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 click. If you don't do the poll that I'm gonna put up, that should be up before this video, comment down below. Get down there in my oven preheated so the cornbread cook. Get down in my comments and leave me some questions. I want good questions. Don't be trying to ask me nothing about Destiny, Dominique, Lachey, and Desaw. Ask something that you want to know. Or what you can do is say, I'm asking for a friend. That's how you do it. That way nobody knows that you're really asking for yourself. And if you don't want me to reveal your name, tell me not to reveal your name. If you want me to reveal your name, reveal my name. Also tell me what you all like for me to do a live sometime and go live and we have open discussions. I'll even click some of y'all in and we'll talk and we'll chat and let's do it that way. But right now, this meat is boiling. So we're gonna get back to what this video is all about, showing y'all how to cook y'all pot rolls. Today we're gonna do a cooking video. Y'all told me that y'all like when I cook. So today we're gonna cook a pot roast, choice beef chuck roast boneless. It's what we're cooking today. So I have a couple of them in the deep freezer that the price was much better than this. And when I went in the store, y'all, this really was one of the least expensive ones. The price of a pot roast now, I don't know where y'all live, but this is ridiculous. When my kids were small, I cooked pot roast all the time. Pot roast is a meal that can go a ways. You can feed everybody and you have enough for a couple of days. And although it is a chunk roast, I call it the pot roast. Your grandma would probably call it the pot roast. And your auntie called it the pot roast because we cook it in a pot. Not like y'all young people today in a crock pot. I don't care what anybody says. To me, food in a crock pot and tastes like food that's cooked over a open fly. Although my stove is electric, I prefer, I wish I had a gas stove. I don't have a gas line. If I had a gas line where I could put a gas stove in my house and you can really temperature that meat correctly, you talking about some good eating. Cause think about it, you never see a chef, I don't care. Any professional chef never cooks on an electric stove. They always gonna cook on a gas stove. So, but today we're gonna cook this pot roast and I'm gonna put in some mixed vegetables. This is the same thing as veg, y'all. So if you want to, you can get veg, y'all. But a vegetable is a vegetable. Once they put it in the can, it's all processed. But I'm gonna rinse it off, cause if it's in the can, y'all know it's packed in sodium and all that stuff that's not good for you. And I'm not doing hot water cornbread today. I'm gonna make some jiffy. Don't use a Pyrex. Let me show y'all the pan to use. For your cornbread, you want to use a baking dish. And this is the one that I'm going to use, this size here. Take a nice mixing bowl, and the directions are right here on the side. One package of muffin mix, one egg, and a third cup of milk. Pre-oven, it says to 400. So put y'all cornbread on 400, because y'all know y'all trying to tick-tock and all the stuff y'all trying to do and your cornbread going to burn up, because you know y'all not watching. Put it on 325, like I'm telling you. That way, if you run it, do an upload or something on your Instagram or TikTok and bread not burn up. Put this in. It calls for one egg, but I put in two. Of the 80s, trading places, not the ordinary girl. You introduced me to 
bread world. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the finest of them all? Dead one or dead one? Man, I just take them all. I ball so they have all. Get it easy, still I might call. You saw that your lounge look great. Done done it all. With for your pot roast, I pre-boil all my meat. You said, what is pre-boil? Pre-boil means I'm gonna throw this in here, not gonna wash it off or anything. I'm gonna boil all the blood out of it. Then that way, because think about it, you don't know what they put in this meat at this factory or how they handle it. So if all y'all saying, oh, she eat that red meat, you can eat it. It all depends on how you cook it. We're gonna put it on, let it boil, then we're gonna rinse it well. That way any chemicals or anything that's in it, we boil it out. Then after I've done that, we're gonna put it back in the pot. We're gonna let it slow cook. Then once it's almost done and tender, and you see that meat start to separate into little strings, then you're going to take your veggies that you've already rinsed all that sodium off, and you're going to put them in. Just dump them right in. And y'all remember what I told you about this top? We're not dropping that in that trash can. You're going to take that top and push it over in here. So you put it in the trash can, pushing that top over in there. So you put it in the trash can, nobody's getting cut. We're going to allow this to come to a ball. Y'all know y'all like y'all grandma great. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to take, and I have my scoop of flour already in here. Y'all see that in the cup, okay? Going to put it in a small cup, and you're going to mix it up with some of the hot water, stir it, pour it back in there, and that's your gravy sauce, whatever you want to call it. That's on your pot roast. And if you heard the chefs talk about it on different cooking stations, they're going to call it brick. We make it great because it's cooked down low. We're going to take some hot water. Go put cold water in there. So you put cold water in there, you like to get it tipped all the way back up. And you're just going to add a little more water. And we're going to let this slow cook. But you're going to whip this up. Because if you don't stir up this flour, you're going to have some dumplings in here. One day we're going to have to make dumplings. You, I'm going to cut up an onion, a whole onion to put in here. And we're going to have pot roast, chuck roast, for those of you that want to say chuck roast, for dinner today and tomorrow. Y'all see how my cutting board lasts because I told y'all I don't really put it in water. I just take a towel and wipe it off. But you know what? I just thought about something. Let me show y'all how to know when your cornbread is done. Some people, if you need to, you can take a toothpick and stick a toothpick in it. But what I do is I look at the side. Y'all see the sides of this? See how it's still touching that paint? This bread is going to separate from these sides when it's done. We're going to put this on low. And what I do is, if you got a top like this where the pressure is can release, you can do that. But even me, as long as I've been cooking, I still do my pot like this. Because I like to go and do something else. So I just tilt my pot a little bit like this. And that way I know it's not going to boil over until I get back to it. See, I came back up to a boil. Woo, it's looking good. Look at that gravy I sticking it up. And see how I told you it was going to all just be nice and smooth. Oh, that's going to be so good probably that good cornbread in there. So now we're gonna put this on low. I'm gonna let it simmer down. So it's gonna thicken up a little bit. Oh, that's gonna be too good. Y'all know that's gonna be good. Look at that pot roast. Girl, look at that roast. Look at that roast. Woo, look at that roast. Y'all see how turning it is just falling apart. Look at that. Oh my God. That's just gonna be too good. So, y'all know what supportive mom want for y'all to do. I need for you to get in my comment section. I need for you to hit that subscribe button. If you haven't hit it, hit that subscribe button, call, text your friend. So girl, you don't want to miss this next video that supportive mom has coming up. I'm going to teach y'all about these scrubs. What did they say? I don't want no scrubs. You don't want them on the passenger side. Leave them there. Subscribe, comment, hit the like button. Thank you all for watching this video. Hey, let's keep it real, okay? We're supportive mom. Hugs and kisses to each and every one of you. If no one has told you on this week or this day, supportive mom loves and care about you. And I am praying for each and every one of you. God has your life in his hand. He has your plan in his hand. But we got to get on God's plan. Let's get rid of all that scrubbery, okay? Talk to you all the next time. I love y'all. I'm out of here. Let's go eat. Yeah.